Katrina Siobhan. Welcome to the show, Katrina. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here today. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. So Katrina is a model, actress, and philanthropist, guys. We have a lot to talk about as far as what she has going on in her career. She's done so much. In fact, you can see we have her 2018 calendar right here that she just came out in, um, the Tecate Boxing Calendar. Why don't you tell us about that real quick? Yes, so I am a model in Uno Agency, and we just shot uh, the Tecate calendar for 2018, and they are the sponsor for the boxing uh, tournaments. So me and the girls headed down to Gleason's gym, and we had an amazing photo shoot, the best team, so uh, definitely um, check it out. I, I am so excited because not only I love my girls and my team, but... I got to be one of the, my two favorite months, January. Ooh, look at how hot that girl is. Damn, mama. So, that, no, but seriously, that picture is stunning. Thank like, you. Stunning, Gratina. You look incredible. Thank wow. you. Oh my God, look, look at these curves right here. <laughs> oh my and goodness. It was really funny because we actually, you know, it's really early in the morning. You know, you're getting all ready. You head over to the gym with all the girls, and we're thinking maybe like the gym will be closed. Post, you know because we're gonna have this big photo shoot and like there must have been at least like a hundred to two hundred guys oh my all God. like boxing their lucky day <laughs> they were all boxing like they were so serious intensely like working out and I'm just we we're just like it was a little we had to really like get involved so there are some of the other girls beautiful models great calendar yeah it's really amazing the team that we did it with is so talented um, and so, yeah, so it's hard. We're all very kind of serious face here, but behind scenes, we were kind of laughing because it was just to be in that atmosphere where everybody, they're, they're really uh, professional trained boxers there. Like they are yeah. not messing around. They're not just working out. They are like training for fights. Mm -hmm. So it was a very serious atmosphere. It came out great. It's yeah. really a beautiful calendar. Yeah. And also July, which is my Ooh. birthday month. Which makes me very excited. I didn't know nice I was going to be July. I love that angle of that shot. Wow. It's actually the hardest angle. <laughs> Where can uh, people go pick up a copy of this calendar? So I, uh, so we're actually going to be releasing dates, uh, the New York tour dates for signing the calendar with myself and the rest of the Uno girls, the Tecate models. Come get your autograph. They can, yes. We'll be signing the calendars along with taking photos and meeting everyone. Uh, so it's a great experience to, especially people that have followed me throughout the years, like with Comic Con and stuff. It's a great chance for everyone that. I have not had a chance to meet, come down, and um, I can meet and take photos and get a calendar sign. We also have some other little fun things like t-shirts and stuff. So and if they're not local, can they still pick up a calendar? Yeah, so I actually have a few people who have already contacted me directly saying, when am I getting a calendar <laughs> that I've known for, for a while? And uh, I said, no problem, I'm going to mail it to them. So You should do like some contests, get giveaways. I know, right? Or something. Guys, let me know what I should do, what kind yeah. of giveaways or, or contests maybe to get uh, a calendar. But yeah, it was so much fun. So, um... Are you guys up girls the official Takate girls? Like, can we expect to see you on the ring as well? Well, in the ring. Yes, um, yes and no, just because it is nationwide, so they do also have other girls mm -hmm. that work um, throughout the states and you know, throughout the states and mm -hmm. outside so of the West Coast. Girls. Yeah, just like there's there is for, for several brands, you mm -hmm. know, they um, and I am uh, yeah, so I want to be more involved of the signings and the calendars and some of the events. Uh, than the boxing side. So. I see, I see. So, you know, something else that I noticed that um, that you recently got involved with that I really, really loved was the vegan cosmetic line. You're the face of that line, right? Yes. What's it called? Yeah, that's really exciting, actually. So it's called MoMA. MoMA. 
uh, cosmetics. I mean, and you know, I'm vegetarian, like huge animal rights activist. Like, so that's amazing. The fact that they're like, that's what the brand is all about, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mama Cosmetics is made actually in Australia. It is like vegan, cruelty-free cosmetic brand uh, that's affordable for all that, for every woman around the world. Are you wearing world. the makeup right now? I am yeah, actually wearing, wearing the makeup. makeup. Looks stunning. Yes. I actually do not. I wear it every day. They sent me so many, uh, uh, a great brush and powder combination that yeah. just is something if you want to go from something light or if you want to add more and do more of a glamorous look but mm -hmm. I really try to just promote brands uh, as an influencer on Instagram and other sites uh, that that really represent who I am mm -hmm. and that's all animal cruelty you know vegan uh, cosmetic brands or or you know anything that's cruelty free yeah I don't like, the line looks beautiful. I, t I took a look at the website. It's, yeah. It looks like they have some really nice quality products. It is. It's great quality. The brushes, everything. And I'm so glad they, like, reached out to me because I had been posting, you know, uh, cruelty-free, like, other cosmetics. And I was just really happy that they they had reached out to me. And we've been working together, co you know, co-working together. They're out in Australia, so they do not have any affiliation really here in the yeah, United States. Yeah. They recently asked me if I wanted to partner with them and be the wow. face. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> and they found you how? Just through social media? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Amazing how an opportunity like that I can know. just come out just from, you it's, know. It's incredible how social media is actually a platform for your own business. Yeah. You know, you have to really market yourself. And I think I was just, by using a certain hashtag, I was marketing myself mm. in a way that they could find me wow. and approached me. And I've been working now with them for quite a while, I'd say almost a year now. Wow. And they're going to be in Sephora and other markets in the I feel Australian like that brings side. up a really good, you know, tool, tip, or advice for the viewing audience, for Definitely. aspiring models looking to, you know, get opportunities. It just shows you the power of social media and how Absolutely. you can use that to leverage your career to, you know, book jobs and, and so on and so forth. So yeah. um, that, I'm really glad you brought that up. Um, so now let's shift into your acting career. I know you have um, a lot going on there as well. I know that I mean, Comic-Con is huge, and yes. now you are a part of that. <laughs> I, I have, yeah. So I play El Capitan in the Curves and Bullets comic book. There's Ooh. three books. Uh, and I've been... That's a sexy character, isn't it? <laughs> She's actually kind of like the leader of the pack. <laughs> She's Perfect the captain. You and your persona. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was actually introduced um, to the illustrator who created the comic book. And I've been working with him, Rolo, uh, for the past five years. Mm -hmm. And so I literally, at the Comic Con, New York, in New York Comic Con, uh, we haven't done the one in San Diego yet. But we are at New York Comic Con for the past five years. Oh my gosh, the fans must have went crazy, huh? Like, it's an intense. <laughs> it, it's an intense very uh, intense. Event. It's very intense, and it's a lot of fun because, for instance, they'll catch us, and they I've done interviews with Fox Five News and E Entertainment, uh -huh. asking me about my character because my character is an original character, so I'm not cosplaying, and characters such as you know Superwoman or something that's very well known. So this is an original character. Cool. So we're introducing her and I've had some people some fans come back every year looking for our booth. Aww. I know. How cute is that? It's amazing. I love it. I love seeing all of them come. They'll come running up to the booth like Are you all dressed up crazy I like am. the character and like <laughs> I am. Cause that outfit is serious. It is. So the original, the original illustration was a little. I said, "Well, how can we tone this down and make it more kid friendly for Comic Con?" <laughs> because I literally, she had just like a strap of bullets going across. Yeah. And I was like, "That's not gonna be okay for all of the kids that yeah. come on Sundays, especially on true, Sundays." True. And I wanted to make it more kid friendly, and you know, so I just, I actually had a costume designed as similar to that as possible, oh, um, that, but that was still more, um, conservative in, in a way. So, nice, nice. yeah. So, so what else do you have going on, you know, acting wise? So we're actually going to start filming, uh, El Capitan in a short film based on the Cars and Bullets comic book that I'm actually involved in directing. So I wanted to take the comic book more into the next level. Like instead of just us doing Comic-Con, mm. And I love acting and writing and producing. I said, how can we how can we take this to the next level? So I am starting to film that comic book, bringing it to life. And I think right now, especially right now, women in the force fields, you know, being characters like that. Mm -hmm. Superwoman was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, she's amazing. I yeah. love her. And yeah. just 
seeing more women playing these like independent roles, um, I think now is the better, the best time to start really trying to sure. push for that. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't realize you were getting into the directing end. Yeah. Of it too. Like, how did <laughs> I that? I love it. How did that happen? I've since I was a kid, I literally can just always visualize, um, you know, visualize ideas and things in my mind mm -hmm. and I just want to bring them to life so like yeah. I had VCO and you know kind of always performing arts and just always kind of like bringing these beautiful concepts to life and it's the same with directing or writing or anything like that I think mm -hmm. it's very similar so uh, I just like bringing ideas to life and bringing this all this world and being able to show it to people so <laughs> cool I'm so excited yeah. to see this wow it's exciting yeah so and you've had some other roles and you know you've done a lot of acting though. yes I have so I've done a lot of TV there's a lot of TV based television shows uh, in New York City that I've done a lot but I really am more in the genre of film mm -hmm. I really love film um, and especially now that I've found myself throughout playing different characters and character building and and being that I have so much dance experience and martial arts experience so now I really am trying to just focus on action adventure films uh, and roles that I really love and that express who I really am so mm -hmm. I've been training uh, both staff and I've been doing a lot of stage combat choreography on my own as well as working with uh, some stunt wow. coordinators. Wow, yeah. that's cool, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is exciting and I think that girls should definitely do that, like do more of that. So it's not just you a know, guy's world. have more skills, this way you yeah. qualify for more roles. Definitely. That's another tip, guys. And something that you love to do, like I've always been very active, you know, gymnastics and dance since I was a child, so, you know, not just doing a dance role, but how can I like coordinate martial arts with dancing so yeah. I literally practice like stage choreography just at a dance studio by myself like I, I mean I've just you have to that's the number one thing is that you have to do it you have to just do it you yeah. cannot wait for someone to call you and say I have this perfect role for you mm -hmm. like you have to create the perfect role for yourself mm -hmm. and build from there and then showcase it to, to who needs to see it. That is a number I one like tip. I like that. I like that yeah. advice you gave right there. Like I've learned one. the hard way. Nice, nice. So what would you say has been like the highlight of your career so far? Oh, wow. So there's been so many, I mean, for modeling and for modeling and so for modeling, I would say probably like being in Glamour Magazine for Ralph Lauren, Ooh. printed edition just at the very tip where I was like, you know, I'm I can't do this, this is too hard, and I kind of like walked away from it, I like got a phone call, and... and it's funny and, how the opportunities yeah. come like that, right? <laughs> it does, it seems like when you're just about to quit, yeah. you get a phone call or something, so for modeling, I would say that's, there's been so many, honestly, I think now too, also representing a brand that I truly believe in yeah. is probably the most rewarding. Absolutely, yeah. wow. So what would you say has been some of the hardest struggles that or stepping stones that you've had to, you know, There's the hurdles so that you've climbed over to, to, to get here? Because yeah. it's, you know, I, I've known you for a very long time. So yes. I think you and I both have seen like the, the evolution of our careers in, in the entertainment and modeling industries evolve. Yeah, and I'm so and, proud of you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. This is but, amazing. Yeah, I'm so I, I mean, I know that we've come a really long way and yes. we both have that hustle mentality. We've been yes. working hard and just to climb the ladder, really. And um, so... <laughs> I mean, I, I, struggles is all part of it, right? Yeah, so absolutely. So what, what are some of the biggest hurdles that you've had to climb over? There's been so many. I think also coming to New York when I was quite young uh, without really an organized uh, program to follow mm -hmm. and kind of just getting lost and just working and paying your bills and so forth. Uh, you kind It's easy to lose yourself and not stay focused and not follow your, your dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, being in relationships with people who are not supportive is a major, a major, major uh, key. I think that you should always be with someone who's supportive sure. of your dreams. Uh, that makes, has a huge influence in your life. Trust yeah, me, it absolutely. does. So for a long period of time, I maybe I was with someone who wasn't as supportive. So that did kind of take me away from my track, my goal, mm -hmm. um, you know, but I she think conquered that. I did. And I think it's easy. I was very young. My first love, you know, like it's easy to, to kind of fall into that. Mm -hmm. But um, 
there's just so many. I mean, you, you have to be able to take failure, failure, failure. And, you know, that's all part of the game. And the best part is just always, you know, having a lot of being outgoing, keeping a positive mindset because mm -hmm. you're because that's the only thing to keep you going. You, you have to stay positive, um, you know, like like I think that like your the other guest was great. We said uh, it's not always like that you're the best. It's like you can offer what they're looking for. So mm -hmm. especially with acting or commercial print modeling, for mm -hmm. instance, they want you to sell a product. Yeah. Or like they want you to be the role of this particular image of what they're trying to create. So you have to be able to mold yourself, mm -hmm. you know. I just think there, there's, there's yeah, there's a lot of obstacles. Every day for a woman is an obstacle, I feel like. <laughs> Every day just putting your makeup on, yes. running to the train or whatever you're doing with your 50 your bags. Heels. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's like, it's like being a mom for yourself. You know, you have your backpack with like your snacks, your sneakers, like, you know, it's like, you know, it's, you really have to be like, and it's true. We're like dancers on the street of New York. Like the way we have to dance through people, you know, it's choreography in itself. Aww, that was really cute, Katrina. <laughs> so, um, I know that you are involved in a lot of philanthropy as well. So I wanted to touch on that a little bit about, you know, what you're supporting and, um, you know. Give a shout out for that. Yeah, so I've always, always, my whole life since I was a child, have always tried to help people. Like I, when I was like 12 years old, my, for the summer, because I couldn't go to like summer camp or something, mm -hmm. I decided on my own that I would go and volunteer at the nursing home in my town that I grew Aww, up in, which is very sweet. small. And I had a guitar. Back then I did play a guitar. And I would ride my bicycle to this nursing home with the guitar and I would literally play the guitar for them. And my mom told me this story, like as now I'm an adult and I'm doing a lot of this charity work. She goes, Katrina, you always did stuff like that. Aww, like you've been doing that since you were a adorable. kid. Are you any good at the guitar? I stopped. I mean, yeah, I could do a couple songs and I never really, uh, no, I didn't Oh my gosh, playing. I did not know that about you. <laughs> so, so charity has always, I guess, been something that just, is, I think it's like natural, it comes inside. I don't even try, like every time I take the train, I always give whatever I have in my bag to a homeless person. Like, if it's a penny or a bag of chips or a bottle of water, I like, it's something in me, like I can't walk past someone. Mm -hmm. um, and, and lately there's been a lot in New York, so it's just, it's hard to like see that, you know, but I guess charity has just always been a part of me. So I, now as an adult, I've really linked on to some major foundations um which ones so my mother has multiple sclerosis oh, so and sorry. so it's something that you know we've we've learned to live with mm -hmm. uh as a family and so i did bike ms okay uh about a year ago where i raised money and i biked uh in new york oh. it's a 30 or 60 mile bike run in around new york city uh, and we raised money for that, which was amazing. amazing. However, it was the coldest day of October I've oh ever had gosh. in my entire life. And I had worn like 20 pairs of leggings and I still had icicles hanging from my eyelashes. But we did it. We went through it. We made oh. we made it through the 30 miles and wow. it was just like so rewarding. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I think also like choosing a charity that is close to heart, that mm -hmm. one is obviously very mm -hmm. close to me. Uh, but I just, I do a lot. I did Wounded Warriors um, and now Be Positive Foundation where people now can donate uh, through my name by voting for me for Miss Jet Set Magazine, uh, Miss Jet Set 2018. And I'll have the links uh, for all of that in my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. So people who aren't familiar with, with B Plus, that's for kids with cancer, correct? It is, yeah. So Be Positive Foundation, it, it raises money and awareness um, for, you know, they find different ways um, to, to, they find different ways to like bring involving children. So their whole key thing is children raising awareness for children. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they also, they supply tons of fu um, fundamental needs for children. A lot of the kids like that they participate in, they'll do like marathons or mm -hmm. kid dance dances mm -hmm. where they raise money or, or sell t-shirts and yeah. 5Ks. Uh, so it's really, I think it's a great cause. Also, like, be positive is a form of blood type. Mm -hmm. um, based on the foundation was a child that had be positive blood type, mm -hmm. and he passed away. Mm -hmm. And after that, they created this foundation. Yeah, 
I, I love those charities like that that are children focused. You know, I actually yeah. just worked with one called Kids for Kids that was, you know, along the same lines. And nice. uh, it was yeah, it was such a rewarding experience working with them. But yeah. um but yeah, that's amazing. I you really do have so many things <laughs> going on right now and I'm I'm so proud of you and Thank all your you. success and how far you've come, Thank sweetheart. You. Yeah, it's, it's 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 been a pleasure to to watch uh you evolve and see everything that you've done Thank and accomplished. You. I know, right? It's so what's coming next? What do you have in store for us so, in the near future? Yeah, I have lots of fun things going on um, I'm actually launching relaunching my website and on the website you will have an option to you know basically shop my looks because I'm collaborating with the breezy rack which mm -hmm. is a clothing line and so I'm gonna have my own collaboration with what that line what style of clothing is that? it's our style it's it's you know it's yeah it's, it's exactly it's uh for girls you know for us um, our age group and but also there will be different lines. There will be casual more and then high end. Uh -huh. So I'm collaborating with my own line. That's some stuff that I would wear personally. Cool. So you could do Shop My Looks. And then you'll have Shop My Beauty, which will be it's Mama be so much fun. Cosmetics. And then also I have um, Fitness and Meal Plans with Baba Ganoush, which is a Mediterranean restaurant that offers gluten-free and vegan options. And Are you vegan? I'm I'm kind of a mix of things because I was I, you I either know, are or you aren't. You can treat I it. know. Well, I was vegetarian for a while. I was uh, pescatarian for a while. I was vegan. I do like cheese, so being vegan is a little tricky for me. I, I, I I'm, I'm vegetarian as well. I tried to go vegan. It's and hard. Living in New York, I can't go a week without having a it's, slice of pizza. So I'm still vegetarian instead of vegan, unfortunately. True. But but, but I won't have milk and like stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so like just, I don't. There's a lot. But of I hope to one that. day cross over that hurdle. Me too. And I, I think also there's there's so many different ways now, different apps and things like that where you can look up different meal plans and different ways to eat so you can start learning different recipes and slowly transition. I'm just hoping that over time in New York, all the New York pizza places will, will vegan. now be serving vegan pizza <laughs> and then we won't have that problem. You I, know? I agree. Yeah, that's not vegan. Then, well, maybe you should yeah, start I mean, one. There's, there's some pretty good vegan cheese made out of cashews, <laughs> and, but you know. I think that might be your next uh Business venture. Oh gosh, I can't fit one more business venture in my life right now. I know, right? That's how I feel. Like trying to tackle everything on. I just feel like I feel like now is now. I feel like you have to just go for it right now. You can't you can't wait. Yeah. You have to just make things happen. Like you're making you know, you making things happen for yourself. You have to just create the roles for you. Whatever it is that you want to do, you have to just make it happen for yourself. You you know, nowadays you can have your own YouTube, yeah. vlogging, whatever it is that you want to do. I agree with do. that. Nothing is going to be given to you. If you want right. something, you make it happen. I love that advice, Katrina. That's really key because I learned that the hard way as well. Like, yes. It's just, you know, you, you really you have to do it all on your own. And with also having pride, you know, that's another thing as being a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different ways that you can go mm -hmm. and you know different you know you to climb to the ladder as quickly as possible but how much pride keeping do you yourself have? respect right is that what you're talking is about very, yeah. yes, is very yes it's very important to me so coming up with what your limits are and you know exactly. and, st and st sticking to that and not crossing the line exactly i think it's very important we need to be more role models mm -hmm. especially nowadays mm -hmm. i think there's just so much on social media yeah. and, and there's so much force uh, on younger yes, women. Yes, and the, I'm so worried yeah. about the, the young girls. So am the I. Like when I have come. kids, I don't want them to see any of that. I just, I do. It is scary though yeah. if you think about it. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, something needs to. Yeah, we need that. we need more role models. We need more women like yourself. You know, promoting you know the wellness and the benefits of you know what we what we can offer as talent, but also keeping our self pride. Yeah. You know, believing in products that we believe in. Like you know, it, don't don't change who you are to fit something. Mm -hmm. You know, stand your ground and Absolutely. keep it and keep going with that. Because you being yourself is like the best thing you can be. Mm -hmm. Don't change. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know what? I think that's that's a perfect lasting note for us to end this segment, Katrina. Perfect. So thank again, you thank so you so much. much for being here. Thank it's you. Thank you. are beautiful. You. Um, it was so great to see you again. You too. And you guys, let me just remind you that if you want to be on the show, go to toolsfortalent.com slash TV and, uh, and you can apply right there. We're looking for all different types of guests uh, from industry veterans to celebrity guests and social media stars. If you have a story that you want to 
to share with Aspiring Talent Worldwide, we would love to have you on the show. Um, the show is all about providing tools, tips, and advice to help people trying to break into the industry. So if you already are, are already in the industry and want to provide that advice, um, this is the platform to do it. So just like Katrina did for us today, it was perfect. Um, that's what we're looking for and that's what we're all about here at Tools for Talent. So um, yeah, I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, and uh, you're watching TFT TV, and this is Katrina Siobhan. Twerk it out, swerve. Twerk it out, twerk it out. Twirl it out, swerve. Selfie. Ah! Thank you so much for watching the show. Um, Tools for Talent is all about giving back. We want to share tools, tips, and advice for aspiring talent worldwide. If you're looking to break into the industry and you don't know where to get started, come to toolsfortalent.com and we will help you every step of the way. So right now, um, TFT TV is the platform where we feature all different types of celebrities from industry veterans to social media stars who want to share their story and provide tools, tips, and advice to help you, to help you guys build your careers and, um, and, and to not have to struggle as much along the way. So that's the point of the show and I hope you guys love it. Like I said, be sure to, to subscribe to our channel youtube.com slash tools for talent and um, I hope you enjoyed the show. You're watching Tools for Talent on TFT TV. I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, and today my featured guests are DJ Liquid Todd Hello. and musician Drew Blood. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having me. Hi, Cheryl. This is great. I, lo I love your show. I love the show. Aw, have you seen it? Have this you is, watched this it? Is, I've, I've seen every single episode. Oh, it's, 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 me and my cat, we sit down and watch it religiously. I've seen it like three times. As soon as, soon as you booked me, of course I started watching it. Yeah, no, I wanted I to be prepared. To say, like, I love your cat. Like I'm a huge fan of your cat on Instagram. Now. I like, think Instagram. I I have a I have a I think my cat at one point was like some old world movie star. She may have been in one of her like many lives, she may have been like Garbo. Your cat has or, a, 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 on Twitter? Yeah, I oh, this, I'm telling you, I'm trying I'm yeah. trying to make my cat <laughs> famous. You know, Dead Mouse's cat, uh, Professor Meowington has like more followers than I do. There's a cat named <laughs> Professor Meowington. Or Mr. Meowington or something like that. I whatever. don't I'm not aware it's, of it. You've got like a million Twitter followers. We could have an entire interview just about right. internet well, hold up though. real quick tell the audience just a little bit quick briefing about who you are you know where you're from what you've done and just you know who are you this is liquid todd he was a uh, a dj on k-rock for many years and then k-rock started to suck and then he went to sirius radio and became the legendary liquid todd on a serious serious radio yeah. Of, uh, of, of many, radio. many, many shows, putting people to bed every night, DJing huge oh, parties around about. the world. Yes. And that's about it. This is Drew Blood. He's a musician, uh, underground keyboard player, uh, slash bartender, slash what else do you do? That's it. <laughs> I haven't bartended in about 10 years, though. Well, you, 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 still, you, you, still, you still got it, right? Right, sure. You still, you still got it. Sure. You still, still got it. You want some more? Well, you're going to have to follow me. At the real Cheryl on Instagram. I'm sure you've heard of me. 